launched by rockets, other objects and animals were launched first. In 1957, the Russians launched the Sputnik 1 satellite, and the age of Earth orbiting satellites began. Satellites in space move in orbits. An orbit is the path created when one object moves around another. There are thousands of satellites in space right now. Many occur naturally, such as the planets, which are satellites of the sun. Our moon is a natural satellite that's been orbiting the Earth for millions of years. Sputnik 1 was the first satellite made by humans that orbited the Earth. When Sputnik 2 was launched, a dog named Laika went along. Laika's safe return proved that living beings could survive in space. In 1958, President Eisenhower formed NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Please clear the launching area. NASA launched many satellites into space during its first year. Early weather satellites like Tyros-1 revolutionized meteorology by letting us see weather systems like never before. Then in 1961, the Soviets made a major breakthrough. Cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space. Twenty-three days later, it was America's turn. Astronaut Alan Shepard became the first American man in space. Shepard's 15-minute flight on Freedom 7 reached speeds of more than 5,000 miles per hour. Meanwhile, developing communication satellites improved our ability to transmit television and telephone signals around the world. Satellites like Telstar became bridges in space that allowed television and telephone signals to be transmitted easily from one country to another. Space flight was progressing quickly in the early years, and President Kennedy pressed NASA to do even more. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Space Highlights, 1965, an eventful year in space. By 1965, American astronauts were orbiting the Earth, and one year later, they took their first walk in space. Unmanned space vehicles, called surveyors, were sent to the moon to take pictures and test conditions in preparation for the arrival of astronauts. The dream of landing on the moon was deferred after disaster struck in 1967, when an Apollo spacecraft caught fire during a routine launch pad check. All three astronauts aboard were killed in the incident. Eagle, we got you now. It's looking good. Over. Two short years later, in 1969, history was made. Astronaut Neil Armstrong bounced about the moon for five hours in this first ever moonwalk. By the early 1970s, the Soviets were living in space for months at a time in large vehicles known as space stations. America followed the Soviets' lead with its own space station known as Skylab. From the Skylab free crew, we wish to extend to people around the world the message of peace, goodwill, and human understanding. In 1981, the first reusable spacecraft roared into orbit. The Space Shuttle Columbia carried two astronauts and their experiments. Space shuttles were designed to be reused as many as 100 times. Carrying crews up to seven, shuttle astronauts retrieved and fixed satellites. They conducted experiments on plants, animals, and each other. They also made observations about the weather and the health of our planet. So far, the shuttle's only tragedy was the explosion of the Challenger on January 28, 1986. The crew of seven was killed after a solid rocket booster leaked and caused an explosion. Today's shuttles will help build a new home for us in space, 
a space station for us to live and work in for long periods of time. Today, when we look towards the heavens, there's still a look of wonder and awe on our faces. It's similar to the looks people had when they saw the first airplane flights. Today's dreams become tomorrow's miracles.